Good morning. Welcome to St. Alphonsus Rodriguez. On this Friday, as we continue our reflections on the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. The terminology that Jesus is truly present in the Eucharist is language Catholics are familiar with, even if they don't fully understand this great mystery of our faith. In speaking of the real presence in the Eucharistic elements of bread and wine, Jesus's body and blood, once the bread and wine have been consecrated, the Catechism of the Catholic Church is very explicit in the language of Jesus fully present body, blood, soul, and divinity. Paragraph 1374 in the Catechism states, the mode of Christ's presence under the Eucharistic species is unique. It raises the Eucharist above all other sacraments as the perfection of the spiritual life and the end to which all sacraments tend. In the most blessed sacrament of the Eucharist, the body and blood together with the soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, and therefore the whole Christ is truly, really, and substantially contained. It is a substantial presence by which Christ, God and man, makes himself holy and entirely present. Churchy language, theological language for a truth that profoundly impacts us as believers at the most basic level of faith and Christian life. We could break this open and look at the expression body, blood, and soul as being the elements of Jesus's presence fully in his human nature, for those are the elements that comprise our human nature. The word in Hebrew translated as soul is nefresh, meaning the totality of a person. And we could get carried away with the language about his divinity, his godness joined to humanity in terms like hypostatic union, that is the union of human nature and divine nature in the one divine person, Jesus. But let's talk in terms that are more easily understood by us. The sacrifice of Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity is really an expression of Jesus as wholly and completely giving of himself, holding nothing back in his great love for us. He willingly gave all that he is, human and divine, for our sake. So there can be no question of the depth of his love. He gave himself totally, the sum total of his entire self, the perfect sacrifice, giving his all out of love. This complete giving of the whole Jesus is borne out in the resurrection. Though he is seen in his glorified state, he still bears the mark of the nails in his hands. Writing for the Catholic Answers website, Carlo Broussard explains, the Eucharist is not the dead flesh of Christ. It is his living and glorified body. Similarly, under the appearance of wine, Christ's body and soul are present with blood because of his living presence. To speak of Christ being present in Eucharist, body, blood, and soul, signifies that he is present fully in his human nature. On their website, the Knights of the Holy Eucharist speak about the who of the Eucharist. Who is personally present in the Holy Eucharist? It is the second divine person of the Most Holy Trinity, the God-man, Jesus Christ, present to us through Jesus Christ in the Eucharist are also God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in virtue of Jesus's real presence, we can also say that the entire Holy Trinity is really present to us. In the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Trinity is really present to us in three ways. 
present personally in being, present in time in the present now, and present to us in love. This makes complete sense, fully human, body, blood, soul, fully divine in union with the Father and Son as the one God revealed to us in the communion of the Blessed Trinity. Jesus Christ, truly God and truly man, the great mystery of our faith, the great mystery of the fullness of love, the great mystery of true sacrifice, the great mystery of Eucharist. What an incredible act of love to give himself so completely. Think about it. Our Lord feeds us, nourishes us with his body, blood, soul, and divinity. Eucharist, the sustenance of life. Are we able to grasp the meaning of what is happening inside of us when we consume the Holy Eucharist? We take in Christ. We intermingle with Jesus Christ. We come to share in the divinity of the one who humbles himself to share in our humanity. So what do we do with the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord? At Mass, we give thanks and praise. But what about when we leave the church building? We carry the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ within us, nourishing us so that we can nourish the world with his love. As bearers of Eucharist, may we always be and live as Eucharist in the world. Let us take some time over this week and reflect on these beautiful words. Ask yourself, what do I feel when I receive the Eucharist? Do I carry him out of the church into the world? When people look at me, can they see Jesus in me? Am I freely giving him to all of those in need? Jesus, we trust in you. Have a blessed week.